Welcome back to another episode of Look What Just Found. This is episode 90. And yesterday we did those three penny rolls from the bank. Well, I guess I guess they could be my penny rolls. That I, I could put pocket change into penny rolls. But yes, they're most likely they're all from banks. And there were little V's on the penny rolls. This one, one of these actually has some writing on it, and it's in the same little black marker as the V's is. The V's is. And I'm intrigued by them. This time I grabbed all three with the V's. Yesterday there was two. Now, all three have different uh, wrappers. And again, I'm just intrigued because we found some good stuff. There was coppers in there. Um, I think there was a, I think there was a wheat scent. I don't remember. I remember it was pretty good. We got some good stuff in yesterday's coin roll hunt. And I want to do it again today. All three of this, this time when I went to the bank, they gave, they gave me, uh, these rolls that had these V's on it. And I feel like, I mean, obviously somebody submitted them, but I feel like they're, there's something about the V. They searched through already, but there's coppers, there's errors. Um, it's just, it's weird. Like I'm thinking like what, and I want you to look at what I, the writing on it. Okay. And tell me what you think. Have a sip of coffee. Breakfast of champions. <clears throat> on whoops oh you heard that <laughs> the gloves got caught on the all right here we go oh so here we see oh i could read it now i could yes i tried to read it yesterday now i know what it says Spring Garden. Spring Garden. Oh, so the person Spring Garden. Wow. Okay. But well, anyway, let's let's get started on I guess there's a uh person's from Spring Garden. I couldn't read it yesterday. Well, that's weird. Oh, all copper. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's something. See, this is, I think these are just regular. I don't think these are coin search necessarily. Which one? That one. This one is down better than this one. I don't think these are search. Nobody's, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Oh, so, so copper's up again. <clears throat> oh, kind of nice and see. I, I I look for the size that is really down down good. You know what else I found out? I noticed yesterday. Because remember, I put these back in. Uh, oh, where's my? Where is my? Where did I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it has to be in here. So what I do is. I guess it doesn't matter which one. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. I'll just take this one. I keep a uh, I keep a penny roll that's already done on the uh, desk, and that's how these and that's how I make sure that that's how I test that that the penny rolls are um 
have 50 pennies in it. I take one that's done already and I put it next. I put it to the other one. You could feel it. There's an extra penny in it. So I had one on my desk for quite a, quite a while. And all of a sudden it's not there. Okay. So mostly coppers. This is somebody's little, they just took their piggy bank to, um, Oh, so yesterday there was, um, I noticed that a few, that a couple of the rolls, because the line, right, the line is there, so that should be 50. Um, but you can see, you see how the line, there's a two lines on this one. You see there's one on the bottom and one on the top. The person threw extra pennies in. And I was like, I don't do that, you know. I don't put extra pennies in my rolls. So this is the way I do it. I measured up to a, a penny roll that has 50 in it, which I counted these. So I'm always right. Okay. Let's check out um, Spring Gardens. Um, let's see what they brought in today. Now, I'm going to say this is probably close to at least, I'm going to say 50%. Um, no, I think I think we might have more than fifty percent copper here. Let's see. I'm gonna go with fifty. I'm gonna go with fifty. Eighty-one. I'm gonna go with fifty percent. Yeah, so I can't, I, I don't, I can't watch the news in the morning um, before I do the videos. That's, that's my new thing. I'm so tempted, you know, to, um, I, so what I, I did look at, I did look at my dashboard. I don't even, I can't even read the comments. If I, cause I'll start getting, I'll start getting into it. You know what I mean? And, um. Double ear. I mean, there's something going on there at the top of the ear. You see that, right? I don't remember seeing that big wad of hair through the top of the ear, but I know that's not it. It's usually on the left or the bottom, the double ear. And if it was something else, it would probably be pretty um, obvious. Another 81. <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's that's really all I really want is um is penny rolls that are unsearched. You know, I'm not I always 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 find something interesting <clears throat> in the Oh, we found all those um 2010s. So this person just had some really odd stuff, you know? Mostly zinc so far. I don't know why I thought there was so much copper in here. It looks like this. Look, doesn't it look like there's a lot of copper in here? I don't know. Maybe. It, oh, I guess not. Maybe my eyes just being. Yeah, no, that's a lot of zinc, I guess. I could see, I could literally see the coppers. Okay. That's okay, I guess. Hopefully, we find something interesting. I think we will. We always do. We always do. We, I mean, we always, always find, in three rolls, <clears throat> we always find something interesting. course what i'm hoping for you know is a, a double die a um a significant error or oh, 59 or or 1959 or 1959 a wheat scent um so there's certain things that that oh wow an au 67 wow 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 oh, that's a beauty absolute beauty 
maybe even MS. Huh. That's from the mint. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we have an AU. That's good. I always do a short video on the on the um, on the really really bright bright um, nice looking pennies. Oh wow! Yeah, see, this is this is. There's no even if you're just looking for 2023s. I cannot see somebody. I'll put. I'll keep that one for myself. Some of these are. I mean, it's just. Oh my god! If that was a small date, I would have just started flipping right now. I would have started jumping. So look, it all, all already. It's interesting, but only we're only twenty pennies in. It's crazy, man. Crazy. What's that? I saw that little watermark. I thought it made me want to look take a double double take. A fifty nine, an eighty two D. And uh, a, a practice, maybe a mint state 62. I mean, come on, man. This one is doubled. A machine, you see the O, right? Let me see if we see it anyplace else. It's always the O. A lot of times you see the O. I'll, I'll zoom in for you to see this. You see the O? I mean, if it's really, really, and you can see it on the bottom of the E, the N. It has something to do with the hub, and now, if I see the, you see the top part of the the, the O. If I see if I see the, the line in that part, I'll keep it as a as a double uh, a double die reverse, but just that little hub thing, and it goes around the left a little bit. I won't keep. I'm not keeping these anymore. I kept a couple of them the first time I seen. I noticed started noticing those. I kept them, but um. It really, really, um, oh, first of all, they're not that interesting because uh, it's just on the bottom by the hub. Yesterday, I went through um, all of the significant findings from the past four months that I have in boxes because I have to stop, you know, I, I just... I just, I, I do organizing on a regular basis, right? All the time, just organizing, organizing, organizing. It's like, it's like, it's part of the job, you can say, you know? If not, place of will get, you know, totally, um, I'm going to weigh this one. Two point five three. Uh, the the my little office here will just get totally totally disorganized and it'll uh, mess me up. Eighty three. I'm gonna weigh this one. Scale still on. Two point five three also. Ninety two. Close. I am. See how the two is supposed to look? Well, that's not true. The 82 to has a um, small two. Has, looks like a question mark. So that's not true. I thought for a second. It's, it's thin. It's skinny like the 82 to, but it's not. Um, it doesn't have the, it has the candy cane um, two. It had some of the attributes but not the main one so yeah so yesterday I went through 
the, my, uh, the old, the old, uh, pennies that uh, I quote unquote, quote unquote, unquote, called significant findings. Right. And wow. I, I mean, it's so crazy how, you know, you do, you, oh, that's nice. It's not AU, but it's step that we got, we got a fine. That's our first fine. And, um, like, I'm going to say half of them are just for, you know, to go back in rolls. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Half of them are going to go back in rolls. And um, I don't even hold on to the 1960s. I mean, unless they're in really uh, nice condition. Oh, 2009, baby. Oh, yeah, beauty, beauty. Yeah, I'm telling you, look at that first roll, and we got five five short videos already. That's awesome. That is awesome. And then, um, and then the other half are, are um, eBay worthy. Wow, look at that hub. You can really see that one. But see, it doesn't really cause any any Dublin, even when the hub is really uh, apparent. And then, out of out of, I mean, honestly, I think each one of those uh, boxes holds a hundred. So two boxes were totally full plus more. So over 200 significant finding pennies that I put into um, flips, right? Over the course of the past four months, which, which is a lot. I think that's a, a tremendous amount. I mean, again, half of them are just going back into penny rolls. So because I've learned so much over the past four months, that things that I found significant, you know, four months ago that got me excited, which is which is part of the hobby. You know, you have to understand. If you're new out there, then that's what brings people to the hobby. And that's 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 awesome. And that needs to be nurtured and supported. You know, um, again. I, 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 that's all. It needs to be nurtured and supported. Period, point, blank, and simple. You know, not used as an opportunity to be, um, to, to act like you're so smart, you know, which a lot of people did to me when I first got into the hobby. That looks like a strike through. Look at that. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a strike through. Pretty sure, anyway. Just not a not a really good one. I like it when they look like little when they're squarish, like pieces of something. I'm not gonna keep it. You know, like they look like a paper clip or something like that. That's the ones I like. I mean, it's still okay. Uh, I could do a video on it. I'll keep it. Hold on. Um, and I see that, and when I when I go to the forums, you know, I see that a lot. People being mean spirited towards. Uh, towards others, you know, it's not cool. <clears throat> totally unnecessary too, you know, but definitely uh, not cool. So, and you learn, right? The longer you do it, you learn. And it, and actually by being mean to somebody, you know, you might turn them off to the hobby altogether and then really stunt their growth. You know, it's like, it's like a child almost. You know, if you're mean to a kid, um, they're not going to want want anything to do. They're going to avoid the um, the antecedent. They're going the stimulus. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, they're going to avoid. It's like if you're if you're getting bullied on a certain block. I remember that happened to me when I was a kid. There was this block where these bullies hung out, and um, I mean, I was small. You know, I was like six years old or something like that. And I just picked a different block to walk up. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want to see those kids anymore. 
and that's the way and i i i'm gonna assume um that that's similar to what could happen to somebody who is um hey i'm gonna try coin roll hunting you know this looks pretty cool and then all of a sudden that's not worth nothing that's just worth a penny <laughs> you know you know like breaking the guy's chops you know the lady's chops that's not nice you know i'm gonna put this into it into the the au's that's just such a beauty so i do my i do my bestest to be my nicest mostly mostly zinc so i was wrong about that 50 50 copper thing oh yeah Oh no. <laughs> I know there's a uh still look for errors, I guess, see if we see anything interesting. All right, so we got two two thousand nines in that. That's awesome. Mm -mm. So I got rid of um, a lot of those pennies when I was doing my uh, housekeeping yesterday. And so I had the two, the two boxes, right? One of them for, um, you know, basically going to go back into Put this into the fines. I'm gonna weigh this one too. It has the woody lamination, I believe. It could I think that's the lamination there, is it? But it's just so unapparent. It looks like it could even be dirt. Probably not, but I'll still weigh it. Three oh three is actually lighter than normal, usual. And then there was about, I'm going to say seven. No, that's not true. Pennywise, there was about only three or four for my personal collection. Um, for example, we had that railroad uh, rim penny. Kept that. We had the... Um, if you remember, if you watch all my videos, you're going to know everything I'm talking about, right? I'm on the second roll now. If you don't, then, you know, go back and watch them. You'll, you'll see the pennies that I found and uh, that I'm talking about right now. Uh, the railroad rim we found. Uh, we found, man, we found some, some wicked, wicked, wicked strike throughs. Not too many, a couple. When I'm going to say strike through. Um, one of them, one of them was like an anomaly. It had like these letters and stuff on it. Um, but I don't think it was a die clash because it was, it wasn't into it. It was like on the surface. It was like letters on the surface of the penny. That's one. We found the other one with the, um, with the camel. That's a 97. That's the, um, the double ear. I didn't check. Found the one with the camel rider. Um, that could be a big time penny. Camel rider. Uh, we found the jail penny. So these are the, that's a small date. Okay. So now if that had a D on it and this was copper, that would be big time money. The small dates are still nice. You find I find much much less that I think there uh, there must be much less small dates than there are. So the D's, the small dates, with the D. The, obviously, I'm talking about the D large date. Uh, could be large date copper or large date um, zinc. I think their I think their mintage is lower. I find much much less of them. The one the D excuse me, 
that Philadelphia large day copper is the one I find the most of. That's the that's the most that's the most that they minted. I don't even have to look. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm correct on it. I mean, I could look, but I would be surprised if the if the um, if the Denver's and um, and the small dates were minted uh, at at such a, at a high degree as the um, the small dates and the Denver's. Um, so there was the jail, the jail, um, die clash. And then there was, um, you know, the, 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 the nick, uh, the nickel, I think I only kept one. I kept two nickels. Excuse me. I kept, it's funny, two, 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 two eighty four D's, right? Back to back. That is so, I mean, what's the chance of that? And they both look like the D's are a little bit uh, doubled out. I'll look at both. Now I'm, I'm going to look. No. A little flat, I think. That, maybe that was it. Um, found both. Oh yeah, two 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 nickels. One was the first nickel. I don't think I think that's like my good luck. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that nickel. I think I'll always keep that nickel. The one I was oh we got a Canadian. I think I'll always keep that nickel for good luck. Like a good very few things do I I'm not superstitious. You know, it's not even good luck. It's more like a cool thing, you know what I mean? Um I don't idolize anything except Christ <clears throat> and the Lord above. That's it. See that? That's a strike through. Or something. not keeping it but i will keep it. it's cool it's a reminder you know um of the first video that really it's still I, it's still my highest um i mean as of as of uh, making the video it might might be a uh, lower by now i didn't check today 23 we're looking for the extra v This is the first 23 I found in a long time, man. Uh, a long, long time. Wow, a 23. This thing is like, wow, man. Like panning for gold. Wow, a 23. I'll hold on to that. That's. I'm telling you, that is the first 23 I found in a long time, man. A long time. Um, then there was another nickel that that the um, the mint mark is super low, and I actually looked it up. I was like, "Wow, that mint mark looks really low. It's like really close to um, man. Who's on the nickel? Whoever's on the nickel, Jefferson or." It's really close to um, his his coat, and then I saw that there is a um, I guess it's a mit, a misplaced mint mark, but it's called the low the low S. I think it's called the low S. So I kept that one. Oh, there was a there was also the uh, misplaced nineteen fifty something. Um, not not a not a week. It must be fifty nine then. Um, or it could have been. 60s but it also had a, a very very had a misplaced mint mark also uh i kept that one i mean it's almost touching the date you know i kept that one um i found a couple silver quarters with um 
I didn't find them. I had silver quarters that it went through. We did a, a search. And look at that on the loop. <clears throat> and two of them had um uh repunched um mint marks. I kept those. I mean they're really, really like you could see. Oh, uh, there was another there was another um penny with a with a a, a, a repunch mint mark and um it looked like i'm telling you it looked like an ob an upside down um one of one of uh this, my subscribers said hey that looks like a um it was a d and it looked like an upside down d over a right side up d i kept that one And then of course there's the two the two um the two um silver Kennedy half dollars uh double double die on the reverse those are sick those are my two I think those are the two most um valuable um coins that i ever found um not because i mean if if they even ha if if kennedy's make sure that's a copy yeah if kennedy half silver kennedy silver kennedy half dollars have any type of imperfection I move the pennies back. I'm starting another row. They have they have value. I'm talking about like anything that's like a real. I mean a real error. I'm saying not you know not some fake error. Real error. Um, a legit error. Like a little tiny doubling anywhere. They're worth a hundred bucks. And the more significant the error becomes. The more valuable and uh all you have to do is go to ebay go to um uh silver kennedy half dollars and uh errors and sold and uh, the lowest one you'll see is like 50 bucks for i don't know man like something that's not even there people will pay 50 dollars for for a silver kennedy half dollar just because you tell them there's an error there. I mean, that's how crazy it is with those types of uh, coins. Um, so if you didn't watch those videos, you have to check them out. They're, they're bananas. It's a whole it's a whole series almost because I find one. And I don't realize how significant the doubling is. Um, then I that's a oh one. Oh, okay, don't matter. And then. Uh, while I'm doing the significant finds video, um, I notice another 82. We got another 82. I find I notice another coin. If I didn't, if it wasn't for doing the significant find videos, I would never. I, I missed it. I missed the uh, the doubling. Oh, wow. I'll hold on to that. We're going to have a lot of shorts today, boy. Maybe I could spread them out. We'll see. That's a beauty. That's uncirculated, just about. I don't know if it's an uncirculated. You know what I'm saying. It's a... Uh, uh, yeah. Brilliant condition, Penny. Um, so I would have, I would have missed if it wasn't for the significant findings. I would have totally missed that. I would have threw it right back in the bag, right? Because I, I just, I just, I just, I put that with finds. I just saved the, I saved the um silver, um, as an investment, you know.
And um, then I'll take, if there's anything significant, I'll take it out. So I found that one with the, uh, the, double, the doubling on the wing. And then when I did the significant, right? So right after this video, I'll, right, I'll do the, um, the bonus content at the end, right? And as soon as I shut off the camera, this is a, a um, misaligned die. I'm not holding on. I don't hold on to them anymore unless they're really, really wild. Wow, it's a beauty, huh? And um, you know what? I want to look at that penny again. And this thing is oh yeah so this is this is a um it's a uncirculated penny it's, it's super brilliant 100% this is an uncirculated penny i'll hold on to that too that's two i see the two uncirculated yeah probably two uncirculated this is the same whoever did these submitted these rolls um had like 20 uncirculated 2010s that we found yesterday. So, um, if it wasn't for doing that, all right, so one of them, 2002, I uh, see that's the small two. See, it looks like a question mark. You find a 82 with a two like that. That's the small date. So I found the one, right? So I was like, okay, I found one that has a doubling on the wing. And um, so I knew I had one. Then I did this. So after, after this video, right, I'll stop. When I stop the video, I will, I'll just start it again, right? And that's how I do the, um, the significant finding videos. I just stop it. Then I start it right there. I put that into the finds. And put that into the fines also. It's a beauty. <clears throat> and then when I did the, um, right, the significant fine, so I showed for some reason, oh, so that, that, that Kennedy half dollar, the one I'm talking about, the other one, the extra one, it was in such good condition that I was going to hold on to it because I was like, oh, you know, it's really, really a nice condition. It's, it's, it's better than, you know, a heavily circulated Kennedy half dollar. So that's why it went into the um, significant findings. Because I kept about out of the um, two hundred that I went through in the in the in the in the in the search, the two the two hundred there were two I bought two hundred I bought three hundred but I did a hundred a um you know what I should go th I should go through those a hundred again the first one I wonder if I missed a um a double die on it anyway so let me not get distracted too much so. I put like, I don't know, seven or eight of them to the side, right? That were like in better condition than the other 200. And this was one of them. So when I went through the significant findings and I was like, oh, look. And I was like, I was like, whoa. And let's pretend this is the penny, uh, the, the half Kenny half dollar. I was like, I was like, oh, look at these nice Kenny half dollars. I found I went like this and I was like, I didn't even say it on. I don't think I even said it. I just went like this. I noticed it and I, and I put it to the side. Um as a reminder for after I was done with the video to, to check it out. You know what I mean? Cause I didn't see it initially and I didn't want to disturb the flow of the video. I'm on the third ro uh, row. Um, and then when I look back at it, I was like, I was like, Whoa, that's really, it was really heavily double dyed. I was like, look at this, man. 
And I said, I would have missed it if I wasn't doing this uh, significant findings. So now I'm done with the significant findings, right? Then I do the um, the shorts, right? So as soon as I'm done with the significant findings, I do the shorts. I'm going to weigh this one. It's another um, another uncirculated. Or man, I'm telling you, these this is like these are so close to proof. I can't even tell you. They could be this could be a proof. It's definitely uncirculated. I mean, it's too br it's it it looks it looks I don't want to say fake, but it um five three. So we found three uncirculated pennies so far. <clears throat> so then I did the um, the shorts on it, and what? Because in the shorts, you know, I'll, now I'll, I'll look at it even closer, you know, like for whatever, like a minute, you know. And I was like, whoa! When I did the shorts on those two, I was like, wow! Look at all of. There was more doubling. There was more doubling than I, what I even noticed in the um and the letters. There was doubling. Another eighty-two, Copper Lodge, State, Philadelphia. I'll put this into the fines. Yeah, mostly mostly uh, zincs. I thought there was going to be a lot more copper than this, but this was still a great find. I see that. Yeah, the, the hub is off. If it would have caused a nice, uh, a nice double die, that would have been great. Even so off, it didn't do nothing. And um, so, and I said, "Oh, let me see what they, what they, what they sell, so what they're selling for." So I checked what they're selling for, and it was like in the thousands, like for good. That's what they're, they're asking. I'm saying asking on eBay. So I said, "Okay, let me go to what they actually sold for." Because you could, you could, the people could ask for millions of dollars. It's not worth anything. I'll check that D out. But no one's buying them, you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, meaningless practically. So I said, oh, let me see what they sold for, right? I did a, and I did a bunch of videos. I'll look at that under the loop. I did a bunch of videos where, hard to say with this one what that is, <laughs> where I explain how to check eBay for sold. A lot, most of you probably know, but if you don't, you know, just watch my other videos and you can see, uh, I give instructions on how to search sold listings. I'll put this with the AUs. That's like what, three or four? That's three we found. And so let me check the sold, the solds for these, um, double die, um, Kennedy silver half dollars. The cheapest, the lowest that I saw for anything that was significant was five hundred dollars, and they were not. And the condition of these of those two was um, at least AU, if not better. Um, their mint state, forget about it. They're worth even more than my conservative estimates. Um, and I was like, whoa! So I would have missed. I would have missed one. If I didn't do, if I didn't look, if I didn't search, if I didn't do the significant findings video, which is basically a review, if I, if they weren't, if they weren't in that video, right, like the other 193 weren't, um, that would have been $500 minimum, minimum $500 down the drain, minimum. That's a beauty. Minimum. So that's what I did yesterday. Uh, this is a beautiful see, see this people always say, oh, those aren't worth anything. Well, an 82 Copper Lodge State Philadelphia in this condition, someone might want to pay a dollar. If you if you're collecting them, this is what you want. You want you want something in this condition. Someone might pay a dollar for that. So that's what I did yesterday. See, you can see the doubling on the O a little bit. See, it? very little. Doesn't matter. I don't hold on to them. And then there were, oh, 
I could, I don't know, that old one. Uh, oh, that's a, a die chip? Might be a die chip. No, the one is uh, damaged. It's not a die chip. That's what I did. Some of the uh, some of the day yesterday was going through the um, the old the old the old pennies. Now put out the AUs. Put that with the AUs. Yeah, she got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pennies. So, all right, and the, the the pennies that you know, excuse me, the coins that I know have value. You know, that I looked up and I saw that they sell that they sell. That they've sold, excuse me, that they've sold for, you know, is this? Another one might be uncirculated. Crazy. That's, that's it. Let me look. Let's look at them compared. The last one I know is definitely uncirculated. So let's look at them side by side. Nah. Nah, this one's almost like a proof, man. I mean, so this one's really nice but and, and brilliant. It could be, but not when you when you look at them side by side. You could really see. Uh, what, what year is that? 2007? Oh, they're both 2007s. Yeah, you can see the difference. The one on the right. See, this is uncirculated. This is just really, really great condition. It could be uncirculated. That's not true. This could be the, the reverse. You know, see, the reverse is, is similar to that. It's probably uncirculated also. It's just that this one is like, wow, almost like a proof. It's, it's crazy. Different, different process for these. Um, let me see off camera. Yeah, the other one is, is nicer. I won't, so I won't include that, the one we just found. In the um, short, but that was four months later, you know, and it, it gave me a chance to really reflect on the progress I've made as far as knowledge goes uh, regarding identifying um, coin errors and. Um, And and more valuable um, coins, most mostly pennies, but also oh, uh, but also other other coins. Eh, slightly rotated. They're all slightly rotated. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna weigh this one. What is this? Ninety one. I'm gonna weigh it. Five three two five three. Put this with the AUs for sure. Found quite a few AUs, that's for sure. It's gonna make somebody happy with that roll. Yeah, see the two thousand one. You see how close the one is to the zeros. It's that's just the way they did it, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that took a while. That took a couple hours for me to go through. Um, you see, I can show you real quickly off, off camera. See? See, this one is that those are ready for eBay, and these are the ones that I have to go through and uh, probably go back into the uh, penny rolls. Eighty-five, huh? I'll weigh this one. 
what he thought it was copper for a second. 2.58. Two more tenths of a gram, and it would have been out of tolerance. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, maybe maybe 10 percent copper. That's what I'm going to say, maybe 10 percent. Uh, maybe a little, maybe a little more. Yeah, I could see that at the top in 1990. So there is, you know, there is. There is a learning curve, obviously, if um, bagged, yeah. If you're new to if you're new to the hobby, you know, don't give up. Just keep at it. If you go to forums to ask questions, you know, just know that some people might not be. Uh, Super nice. Don't, you know, don't take it personal. But don't let it stop you from uh, continuing to, to search um, pocket change and pennies and learn about errors and uh, varieties. Because you'll, you'll, find, you'll find things that are worth money. You know, it takes a little bit of time, effort, and energy. Um, but you will find things that are worth money. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. If you stood here the whole time, um, I hope you enjoyed the show. I did. I thought that was a really, really good uh, penny roll hunt. Can't believe that person has so many... Uh, Uncirculated pennies in the uh, in their rolls. All right, thank you for coming, and I'll see you on the next one. So. Yeah, episode, this was episode 90. We're creeping up on 100, episode 100. I'm going to be doing, um, I mean, I might already have, I'll probably, by the time this one shows, I might have already put up a video using the microscope that I just ordered. So we're going into the spring. I'm going to be using the microscope. On some of those pennies that I showed before, uh, errors. There are a couple in there that, that I want to look at. And I also got the. I'm excited, man. 
I don't know. I never use it. I don't. I hope it works. I don't know. I think you put the, uh, you put this around the, the phone and then you could, you could go live and you could walk around with it or you could record while you're walking and go live while you're walking. So, um, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to give it a, a test run. I will uh, try to do like a premiere or something like that, you know? It's going to be a lot of fun. Wow, look at this. Oh, I see how they did that. Oh, they just put it together. Oh, okay. It'll be kind of low. Is that where I want? Well, I, like I said, I have to test it. I've never done it. But um, we got some things coming up that's going to be pretty cool, I think. I'm looking forward to it. It's one of the reasons also that, you know, I schedule ahead so that I have constant content for you guys to watch. And like, if I do that, I probably won't do a video that I won't do a, I won't do a coin roll search or a pocket change video or any other type of video that day besides the live stream or microscope or um premiere or, or whatever you know what i mean i'm doing i'm different than what i've been doing so that's one of the other reasons that i schedule is for is for that reason um because maybe it comes out bad and i don't even show it you know what i mean and then there's nothing for that. if i don't have something scheduled there's nothing for that day or the next day or what have you and and that i don't want to that would mess me up that would uh be against what I what I want to do. So today was pretty good. We got um, got a bunch of stuff. So from here, right? So when I say when I say okay, thank you. I'll see you on the next one. And I click off, then I just click on, and I go right into the bridge version uh, video. And then when I'm done with the bridge video, uh, yeah, that's when I might have some. Speaking of coffee, Um, that's when I'll figure out, uh, I'll take a break and, uh, then I'll do the, uh, shorts. Okay. So, um, thank you for, for tuning in. Let's see. Uh, this is going to be, we're going to have a lot of fun this summer and I'll see you on the next one.